Hey everyone, I just wanted to do a bit of a room tour today. It's actually my brand new bathroom. We just moved quite recently. I wanted to show you how I have managed to store and present all of my beauty and cosmetics items. I hope it's going to give you some tips and tricks um, as to how you can store your own items. And of course, at the end of the video, if there's anything you wanted to be reviewed or you wanted further information on, as always, please just leave me a comment. So without further ado, I'll get straight into it. So I'm just going to start over this side of the bathroom. You can see this is just on the bench top. First of all, I have my electric toothbrush, which is an Oral-B. Uh, I actually did a video on this one a while back, which I will link in the bottom bar. Now you can see that I actually have a couple of brush heads for the electric toothbrush. This one with the yellow bottom to it is my partner's. This pink one is mine. So we can really easily tell whose head is whose. And it obviously just fits on the top of that electric toothbrush. The next part of the bathroom I will show you is my brush collection. You can see it's grown a little bit since I last did a video on it. Um, I still have it set up in the same way. I've got this clear plastic brush holder and I just pop that here on the bench top because they are items that I reach for every single day. I have my eye brushes over this side and I have my face brushes over this side. I like to have the brush holders still on the brushes because it does help them to stay in shape after they've been washed. And whenever I have used a brush and it's currently drying, I actually store it upside down uh, just so the water doesn't seep into that glued section there and it doesn't make the bristles come loose. You can see I also have my wide tooth comb here. Again, it's something I reach for quite regularly. Um, after I wash my hair, I like to just comb it through with the wide tooth comb to get out any knots um, and also to try and prevent any breakage. I wouldn't want to use a brush on freshly washed hair. So coming over to the side of the sink, over here I've got my sunscreen. My favourite is the Nivea Sun Moisturising Sunscreen. That's the one I reach for every day. This one is a sunscreen spray, which is just a real cheapie. Um, I sometimes grab that if I'm in a real rush and just spray that on. But as I've mentioned before, being in Queensland, sunscreen is super, super duper important. So it's something I reach for every day. Continuing over the sink, we have got our moisturising hand soap. Not particularly interesting. We'll continue over and we've got our toothpaste. We like to use the Colgate Whitening. This one has mouthwash as well as toothpaste in it, uh, and it's both mine and my partner's favourite. Some of you might know that he is in fact a dentist, so for him to endorse a toothpaste, it must be pretty damn good. Um, just leaves our mouths feeling really clean, um, and it has a really nice taste to it. it, leaves it feeling really fresh. We've also got some dental floss. We just use the Oral-B Satin, um, which has a minty taste to it. I've learnt over the years to floss my teeth after every meal and I've got to say, yes, my partner's pretty pleased that he's trained me in that way. <laughs> so continuing on, just over here is part of my electric toothbrush. It's actually a smart display guide. Um, you can see it has the time there, it's 4.28 where I am. I will grab the brush and I'll show you how this works. So when I start the brush, excuse the noise, but you can see it shows a countdown of how long you've brushed your teeth for. It also shows you with that flashing part of the circle, which part of the mouth you should be concentrating on. So that is the front right of the mouth. It'll stay flashing on that one for 30 seconds and then it will flash onto the other part of the mouth. So it's a really great tool to show you exactly where you should be brushing. Something else it does is actually show you if you are pressing too hard when you're actually using the toothbrush. And that's something, again, that is super useful. Um, it just stops you from damaging your gums or damaging your teeth 
by pressing too hard with the toothbrush. So that is that. You might notice this mess over here. Now, I'm not pretending this is the best storage solution, but it's what I've had to do. Um, this is a mix of products that I use every day. It actually has my perfumes in the bottom there. I've got some face wash, um, some other face washes that I'm getting around to using. One is for super sensitive skin, which I use when my skin's feeling super, super at risk. Um, this is my Nivea moisturizer. I've got a lush exfoliant. I've got some spare powder, some prescriptions. I've got my makeup removal wipes. You can see it's just a little bit of everything in here. So at the moment, that's the best I can do in terms of my random items. Um, yeah, if you've got any suggestions on what I can do with those, that'd be great. <laughs> now I think about it. Um, just coming along over here on the wall, you can see I have a really cheap adhesive hook. Um, it pulls off the wall, it's just a plastic one. So I actually use this to keep all my hair ties on and I've got some rings that just sit on there as well. So I find that really useful to grab a hair tie when I need to, just grab it off the wall, off that hook. Now going down underneath the sink, now there's not a huge amount of light down here so I hope you can see what's going on. I'll start over here with my big range of cosmetics. You can see it doesn't look particularly organised but it actually is. These front sections here I have full of lipsticks, all different types. This little section in the front I have an Ico lip gloss, I have a couple of sharpeners, I have a mineral makeup kabuki. This one is a Smashbox lipstick, so that one obviously doesn't fit in with the traditional lipsticks. In the centre here I have my brow powder and just a, a little cheeky brush that I use to apply that in the mornings. I have some glitter, some loose pigments, some stickers. Um, I have this cheek uh, cream blush. I also have some other glitter and just a liquid liner from Napoleon Purtis. Going into the back, I have all of my eye tools in the back. I've got a heated eyelash curler, a regular eyelash curler, etc, etc. All of my mascaras just over here. I have my brow pencils here. I have a couple of spare toothbrushes in the middle. Liquid liners just here in this little section. Uh, eye brighteners right here. Eye liners over here. I have an eyelash curler in the back. All of my lip glosses all together. And I also have lip liners. And this is a very special anti-feathering lip liner by Too Faced, which I absolutely love. So they all go in together. I also have random items in here. I've got dry shampoo, I have hairspray, Moroccan oil, travel shampoo and conditioner. Um, I also have my shaving cream. And then if we go right into the corner, I've got my toiletry bags. I have quite a few inside because I like to pack a couple of toilet bags for each purpose, all my brushes in one. I also have these Ziploc bags, the plastic ones, because I like to wrap things like my Moroccan oil or my shampoo and conditioner or my toothpaste in one of those Ziploc baggies. And it just means if it leaks, it's not going to get all over everything else. Now underneath there, you probably can't see, but I have my hair dryer. Um, I also have a tooth, toothbrush holder for the electric toothbrush, but that's not particularly important. Over to the side, again, I've got my GHD just in its heat proof case and that fits nicely over this side. So again, doesn't look particularly organized, but it actually is. So I'm just gonna show you the contents of my drawers. The top drawer here, you can see like the section underneath the sink, it's kind of organized, but kind of not. Um, I actually have my contact lenses over to the left with my ped egg. I've got some deodorants here. So my clinical Rexona protection on for really hot days. Um, I've just got my Nivea Pure, that's the invisible stuff. I have my pill, my razor blades, my hair, bobby pins. I just keep them in a little container like this so they don't get it everywhere. My brush, I have a little travel brush set uh, for makeup brushes. 
tampons, liners, I've got my Estee Lauder brush kit and I've also got my little Anika blush. They all stay in this top section. The second drawer I have full of all of my skincare items. Now you can see this is just a cardboard box. I have repurposed it so I can keep all of my moisturizers and items like that all together so it's quite easy for me to access everything when I need it. I'm not going to go through everything in this little section because there's too much to cover but suffice to say I have um, moisturizers, serums, treatments for every time of the year. Now along the back here I have all of my foundations. So I've got one, two, three, four, five at the moment. Again, um, I sort of alternate them depending on the look I'm going for and also the time of year. I've also got my Laura Mercier primer, which just sits on the top here. Um, I have some medication there for my skin. I have a Shiwi, <laughs> which is actually a pretty amazing contraption. You might have heard of it. I might even link the shop that sells them below. It's pretty much a funnel that you fit over your lady parts and it enables you to stand up and urinate. So I think it's really awesome. I generally use it when I go camping or when I'm in a festival, um, just so I don't have to line up for ages at the ladies' toilets. So there you go, but you didn't know I had one of those. Just continuing on, I've got some random items. I have my charger for my Clarisonic. Um, I also have my concealer palette for red skin. That's the Physician's Formula one. I've also got some Hollywood tape, um, nipple protectors, nipple covers. I've got some fake eyelashes, etc. Going down to the bottom drawer, I have all of my makeup palettes. You can see I've got my Urban Decay Naked palette. I have my small little Inglot eyeshadow palette, uh, Gemma Kid natural eye palette. I have my Coastal Scents right down the bottom, which is just the um, 88 palette. An Estee Lauder palette. I have my little shimmer set from Tarte. It's just an illuminator. I have some loose Prestige baked eyeshadows there, just these little ones. A little MAC eyeshadow. This one I use quite regularly, it's called Brown Down. I also have the MAC Icelandic Cool Quad Eyeshadow Set. That's been used a fair bit. And I have also my hair items. So I've got some little clips if I need to hold my hair out of the way. I have my little comb and my hair extensions just here. I've got these two beautiful coloured fringe sections as well. So for the last part of the room tour, I'm going to take you into my shower. So I'll just take you around here. In my shower caddy, I have some soap-free body wash. My eczema unfortunately flared up recently and I've had to change to using this, which isn't the most glamorous, but it helps my skin no end. I've also been using the Aveeno Ultra Calming Foaming Cleanser because of my aforementioned eczema problems. I have Brazilian Keratin Therapy Conditioner and the matching shampoo. I was really lucky when I bought that, there was only those ones left. I have my lip scrub, my Clarisonic, my wide tooth comb and this is my partner's head and shoulders. It's not mine, I promise! So that's it guys, I've finished with my room too. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave me a comment, rate and subscribe.